like literally every climb that I've done of note has been wearing TC Pros. <laughs> you know, like all the big link ups we've done, all the speed climbs, all the big solos, uh, like everything is in TC Pros. So I'm kind of like, yeah. this is the most important shoe for me. Yeah, and the only reason it's not that way for me is because I'm older. Yeah, exactly, I'm exactly. Older. <laughs> Cool. Let's talk about the new TZ Pro. Yeah, so uh, pretty excited about the uh, the redesign. I was a little nervous at first because it just seemed so sweet. I didn't want to mess with it. But as we have learned from Sportiva, they tend to have a really good vision. When we first designed these shoes, and they've, they're kind of pulling it off again. For the first 15 years of my like L cap climbing life, I would bring two pairs of shoes. I'd bring like a big comfy pair of like trad masters for a long time and then the Puras. So our goal, I guess, was to make a shoe that could both crack climb well and edge really well. And so I, my idea was to kind of like use a little bit of a old school technique and just make the shoe stiffer so that you can edge really well with your out your toe being severely downturned. And I got my first pair in 2008 and I put it on my foot and I was like fully addicted. I was like, I can't go back. I was like, I have no idea how to climb without these shoes anymore. They're just, I mean, they're so great for the mountains. They're so great for like really anything big. Like if I think adventure, I know I'm wearing TC Pros. I mean, that's kind of what's amazing about them is that your feet stay pretty comfortable even while climbing really, really big walls. I mean, it is crazy what TC Pros can stand on. Yeah, I mean, I think that the thing that was really good about them is we, we like found this perfect middle ground between performance and comfort and kind of combined it all and somehow made it all work, which I, I would like to think I had a little bit to do with that, but really it was like the, <laughs> the brilliance of the, of the designers at Sportiva. Yeah, and even with like the ankle protector, like that was this thing where for a while we tried to have a removable ankle protector and then they're like, well, why don't we just try and put it right in the middle so it doesn't feel like it impedes your foot movement. Um, but it still protects it and it worked. You know, it was the first shoe that yeah. did that. And, and that is a very nice feature of the TZ Pro. The fact that your ankles don't get all cut up every time you climb a crack. But yeah, I used to have to tape my ankles whenever I'd anyway, climb. I, I used to do that too. The first times I climbed the free rider, one of the key things in my rack was tapes. It's funny because now that feels like a really long time ago. I'm like, oh, I would never worry about taping my ankles now. That sounds totally stupid. But it's like because TZ Pro is protecting them. One thing that, they, that these shoes really allow you to do is uh, just shove them in cracks and mm -hmm. and really abuse them in ways that you can't with a lot of other shoes. But because people just like shove them around and cracks really hard, they do tend to take more abuse than most shoes. So one of the updates is kind of figuring out how they fail and figuring out how to make them slightly more robust. Yeah, and, which makes anyway. total sense. That's like the little laces protector on the end uh, to keep from from cutting your laces. Yeah, yeah, laces protector here because sometimes the laces would break right there. I mean, they did all sorts of fancy, you know, things to make them not break as much and stuff. But they also kind of made these shoes now a testament to both the free rider for you and the Donwall for me by actually putting a topo on the shoe. <laughs> kind of a funny little detail. I know, well, I mean, yeah, well, it's two feature length films that are basically about wearing TZ Pros. <laughs> that's pretty legit. I mean, that's a good testament to uh, the TZ Pro when you can yeah. see it in movie theaters. Yeah. And, and since then, basically every major shoe manufacturer has tried to copy them. And they've all been bad. Yeah, they haven't worked. I don't know, for whatever reason, most companies, when they make a trad shoe, it's just a bad shoe. It's like a big boot. But the TC Pro, it's like a really good shoe. You can still climb really hard. You know, it's like, it's still well-constructed. It's like, it's just a, it's just a high quality shoe. It's like, I, I yeah. think it's all TC Pros. So I guess I'll just keep on, uh, keep on trusting my life to that TC Pro. You know? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, Actually, with this, I, I feel slightly better, a little bit better about that.